No, there ain't no stopping us. Fly without boarding pass. Couldn't catch me, I'd be moving fast. Call me a shooting star. Let them know who you are. Flying up in a bar. Wish on a star. Time to show them who's in charge. Call me a shooting star. Hello, welcome to the Shepherd TV. This is your Spain versus England's preview. It's coming home. Is it coming home, lad? Yeah, yeah. So it's big game at night, isn't it? Big game. Um, Spain for England. Um, what we? I didn't think we'd get to the final. Um, I thought we'd, you know, we were, we, we, we um, we seem to have scraped through most of the games to get here. Yeah. But. If Southgate wins this game, or should I say if England wins this game, Southgate deserves a lot of credit, doesn't he? Yeah, he does. Yeah. Even though we all want him gone. Well, apart from you, you don't want him gone. <laughs> but it's, it's, it's sort of surreal because we, we were here last time. We got to the final, um, you know, in last European Championships against Italy and we lost at home. Yeah. Um, do you think that experience of losing that game will put us in good stead going into this one? Because yeah. we're playing a relatively inexperienced um, Spain side. You know, one of their one of their um, key one of their um, you know key outstanding performance mm -hmm. is that Yamal, who's um, sixteen year old, yeah. for Spain. You know, at least with our team, we've got Kane, who's experienced, Borden, mm -hmm. um, Trent, he's won tournament, he's won Champions League, league um, Premier Leagues. Mm -hmm. you, um, f you, we've got Forden, who's won, um, who won treble last last season, season before. Uh, yeah, season before last. Mm -hmm. when he won, you know, so he's got experience. You know. The the talk that Shaw's gonna come back into the team today, um, mm -hmm. over Trippier, yeah. right? And you see, I think Trippier's had a poor tournament, if I'm honest. Mm -hmm. And it, that you know, I, if I were to rate rank to rate all our players, mm -hmm. I could give them above a seven point five out of ten for this tournament because mm -hmm. I don't think anybody from the England side has um, stood out. In this tournament, yeah. Now I'm hoping that they've saved the best performance till last. Mm -hmm. um, and I think I just so much telling me that like, this could be the time for us because mm. the experience what we've got to their inexperience, we know what it's like to be in the European final. Yeah. They don't, Spain don't lately anyway, not of late anyway, you no. know. And if we don't do it this today, if we don't do it today, mm -hmm. I don't think we'll ever win a tournament, mm. especially in the Southgate. Yeah, but you're confident, aren't you? Let's be honest. Yeah, you could be really confident, aren't you? Yeah, yeah. You see, I think this is going to go out where I think this is going to be one all after extra time. Got, um, we went on a penalty shootout. That's what I'm thinking. I mean, I know what what score did you see yesterday on Jesse's channel? Uh, three nil, three, uh, three nil England. Three nil England. Are you sticking with that? I think so. Yeah. Good, good. Mm. So, Lee, would you make changes? I might probably make might probably two. Who would you change? Who would you put? All right, then let's start with who would you who would you like to see start the game? Who's uh, uh, normally on bench? I want to see I want to see Luke Shaw. Yep. For Chipper. I want to see all all Watkins for Kane. Well, I don't think Kane's been up to it. No. I have to agree with you, mate. And I tell you who else I'd like to see start. Mm. But he won't. Foden. Mm. I want to see Phil. Uh, sorry, Palmer. I want to see Palmer start. Mm. You know, I think Pam. You know, we look so much better when Palmer comes on. Yeah. You know, we look more attacking when Palmer comes on. 
I just thought I just thought Southgate takes the um, shackles off him and let him let him express himself. Mm-hmm. You know, I've been crying out for this whole tournament. He needs to let him express himself. Yeah, we've got the best. We've got we've got them. You know, probably best group of players we've had in a very long, long time. Yeah. Probably since Euro '96. Yeah, I mean, you won't remember that tournament. You weren't born, but. That were you know that were our golden age when we where we where we missed out. I just hope we don't swander this chance. Do you know what I mean? Because mm-hmm. imagine what imagine what it'd do to um, England if we win it, the country. Yeah, it'd be buzzing. We'd be buzzing, wouldn't we? Yeah. You know. So yeah, I think I think Southgate needs to just relax a little bit and let him play. Let him play football. Yeah. You know, and and I'm, you know, I'm not, I'm not. You know my feelings on Southgate. I think he should go whether he wins or loses it, because mm. I think it's time he goes. Time of bringing a new, a, a new manager, freshen it up a bit, going into World Cup. Yeah. But if he wins it, does he? In your opinion, does it? Has he got that right to take us into the next World Cup in two years' time if we win it? Yeah. You think so? So I don't. I think we need to change it. I think it'll be better. You know, we've got, you know, Bellingham and Foden and Palmer and Eze and Watkins and, mm-hmm. you know, Kane to an extent, because let's be honest, Kane is a goal scorer. Mm-hmm. I think he's carrying an injury league. That's why I don't think he's playing as well, personally. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. So... This this is arguably England's biggest. Well, it is. It's England's biggest game since you know, since um, like because it it, 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 would, it would be because the Euros were on just after COVID, wasn't it? If you remember, it but it was late, wasn't it? Because we had lockdown. Mm. So and to win it at Germany, how good would it be to be to win it on Germany's own patch? Mm. Do you know Germany like bragging and boasting about? Better, they've got better footballers than England, and if we can win it on their patch, up there, to, you know, mm. at, at the Olympic Stadium in, in Berlin, mm-hmm. yeah. of all places, yeah. that'll send out a massive statement to the rest of the world that England are coming. Yeah, yeah. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. You're getting excited, aren't you? Yeah. Yeah, you are, aren't you? Good, good. So... First goal scorer, who's it's going to be first goal scorer for league for England? Probably Kane. Right. Probably Joe Bloom in this second half. And they've been off, they've been off Kane for all the for the last minute. Wow. Wow. Well, well, I, I, I'm going to, I'm going to stick my neck out, and I'm going to say Foden's going to score for us mm. um, first. I think Spain will score first. We'll equalise. Mm. That's what I think. But you know, I hope I'm wrong because of the nervous tensions. Um, I think we're all streaming it through my, yours and um, Jesse's on Jesse's with, with, with Jess. So we're going to be dual streaming it on your channel too. So, um, mm-hmm. but yeah. you know, we'll all, if you're wanting um, the chat, go into Jessie's because she's got a lot more people in chat than we've got on ours, mm-hmm. if that makes sense. But you know, um, we will, we, you know, we will get you there, we are getting you there. We've got we've got um, Leeds, we've got um, Leeds United playing Friday, is it this Friday against Arriga? Yeah, half past. Yeah, I have to have a kick-off. So we've got that game to look forward to as well. Right, well, look, guys, um, do you think it's coming on? Do you agree with Lee? Um, I think it's going to be tight, but I do believe that we can do it. You know, or do you think Spain's going to win? Get, get your comments in that section down below. Mm-hmm. Um, Lee, um, do you want to thank everybody? Thank you for watching this on TV. It's a goodbye from me, guys. Take care, everybody. It's coming home.